Let's have some fun! We're back in the Try Guys test kitchen. No recipes, no hope. This is the ultimate without a recipe challenge. Roy Choi, Rosanna Pensino, us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. All the other episodes have been battles, but this is the war. There it is. Yeah. Be right back. I can't swallow. I can't swallow it. Next up, it's time for us to have our cakes and eat them too. I'm not made for YouTube, man. <laughs> I'm not what? made for this shit, man. The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen for the season finale of Without a Recipe. What's the difference between baking powder and baking soda? This one's got a little girl on the front. <laughs> Their final challenge, birthday cakes. It's a party. Each baker will have five hours to bake a cake of their choice and present it to our panel of judges. This is the season finale of Without a Recipe and we're gonna be judging cakes. I'm Rosanna Pansino and I have the largest baking channel on YouTube and I've been baking since I was four. Hi, I'm Roy Choi and um, I'm qualified because I have birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Johnny Manganello, and I'm qualified to judge cakes because I bake a lot of cakes and eat some too. I love cakes. I love memories that I've made when eating cakes. It's so much more than just the food. It's about the whole day, about the whole party, about the whole experience. I work on my cakes as if they're like little works of art. Cakes need to be just the right texture. They need to be light and airy, but they also need to be moist and soft. Also, you're playing with a lot of different ingredients. You have to deal with raising agents, creaming butter and sugar together. It's just a technically more advanced dessert to get right. If you're baking a cake without a recipe, you need a lot of luck because it's a science and if you mess one thing up, the science won't work. Wow, I'm so knowledgeable. My science teachers are gonna be proud. Birthday cakes. I've never made a single tier cake before. I don't even think I've made box cake. I don't love cake. I like brownies. Look, it's been really tough doing so well on all these episodes. The other guys are saying, oh, it's not fair. Ned like knows how to bake bread already. He's just using what he's learned over like a year of hard work and developing a hobby like for his family or whatever. But I have made a birthday cake for no one ever. Not once in my life. How is that possible? It could be a total disaster. I don't know anything. If you make a cake, you have to make a statement with it as well. I think my strongest suit is doing inventive flavors with really strong presentations, so I think this is my challenge to lose. I don't need to win, I just can't keep losing. Happy birthday! Eugene and I, we're front runners. You're looking at the winner's bracket right here. I'm going for broke today. I'm leaving it all on this counter. I'm the big boy. This is my birthday. Same. <laughs> all right, bakers, three, two, one. Try to bake. Bake! <laughs> you missed my hand. Bake! <laughs> you missed my hand. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go, let's go, okay. This episode, I will be making a Funfetti birthday cake. This is for my son, Wes, and uh, I think it's just a really fun cake for a kid. It, it sounded easy, and I hope I'm right about that. Without a Recipe is the format that I developed for the Try Guys exclusively to allow me to win more videos. This series has been tough. I came in last. Zach's the only other one with last places. Today, I will be honoring my father by recreating my daddy's favorite cake, the cinnamon raisin pecan coffee cake, which we referred to as daddy cake growing up. I did tell them that my favorite cake is cookie cake. They said we already did a cookie episode. That'd be cheating and I said that's the point they said no so I'm making carrot cake today I'm gonna I, I have to, I have to do okay I uh, was inspired to do a rum cake but then I realized that was too standard so instead I'm going to infuse mine with a bunch of Asian tea an Indian and a Chinese person and a Japanese person walk into a cake they get drunk and they're all gay that's my cake <laughs> that's the punchline 
To start, the bakers will have one hour to make their cake batter. You know what, Keith? I'm willing to work together today as needed. A hundred percent. Maybe I'll start with... Oh, I accidentally poured it all in, so I guess I'm starting with that. First, you're gonna cream your butter and sugar together. It's just because you wanna incorporate as much air into this part of the cake as possible. Butter. I'll put this in the freezer, you know, just cause. You wanna use room temperature ingredients. The ingredients won't incorporate as well together if they're cold. How am I gonna mash up this butter? It's all cold and shit. I think this will help. It is 8 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna do three cups of flour. I think I already f***ed up. How so? Because I know from Tasty that they do butter and sugar together. No flour. I did like a two to one ratio of flour to sugar. You don't want to be adding flour right now. It would completely deflate that mixture. One cup of flour. Something's telling me to start over. You could start over. Dude, do it. It's not too late. Do it. But be, the, be the guy who does it. Nobody's ever started over in this show. Yes, Zach. Pour it all over the counter. <clears throat> yes, Zach! F it. Yes! That's my boy! Wasting food! We're trying again! Nice, Zach! Add your eggs into this mixture one by one as to not deflate this beautiful, airy, buttery mixture you've created. One egg. Two eggs, four eggs, two eggs, two eggs. You can definitely add too many eggs to a cake. I think I got some shell in there. Oh no. Oh well. Eggs. Get. But the more eggs you add, the denser it's gonna be. Is that enough eggs? I feel like I'm just gonna put more stuff in it. Okay, they always uh, say to mix your wet and you mix your dry separately, so let's we'll do that. What would winning mean for your dad? Oh, it would be probably the greatest joy. He uh, was a mining engineer, but he always let his love of the arts shine through as he always drove me to my French horn lessons. He was just always so present and helpful. And you now everyone's like, Keith, you're being so funny, you know, trying to honor your daddy with your desserts, but I truly, you know, love my daddy. Love your daddy. Dude, I am just eradicating this ginger over here. I love things that are like vanilla-y, but also a little bit of lemon. So next I'm gonna start to mix together all of the dry ingredients. For this recipe, we're gonna mix baking powder and baking soda, cake flour, and we're gonna also add some salt to counteract the sweet flavor. Little pinch of salt, two okay. tablespoons of cinnamon to start. I'll say that my flavors so far in the competition have been spot on, but the texture's wrong, or you didn't bake it enough. I'm gonna do butter, eggs, and coffee and add that into the flour, and I think that's gonna be good. I probably shouldn't put in just one tiny drum. Uh, Eugene! Sad thing, it's gonna be delicious. Now is the tricky part. We're going to mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients into the butter. It's a little thick. Might have put maybe a whole box of cake flour was too much flour. But we're gonna alternate it. You add dry first and you add dry last. You gotta do that or the structural integrity of the batter just isn't gonna be there. To flavor my cakes, I'm doing different tea flavors from across Asia. I'm gonna boil in the tea flavor directly into the milk. This is my Indian layer. It's chai and cinnamon and turmeric. So I wanna make sure this really tastes like India. So I'm just gonna put a little more masala in. Time for the funfetti sprinkles. I'm chopping up gummy bears because I think a little bit of gummies will be fun. Funfetti! <laughs> Matcha! <laughs> if you're going to color or flavor the batter at this point, do so very gently. This competition has told me anything. Putting your favorite foods inside your foods is a good move. Very gently. This is ginger and pecans. Oh. Are you putting pineapple in there? Yeah. We're gonna put some chocolate in here. Are you adding just milk? And finally, shredded coconut. Very gently. Um, I kind of forgot until the second that I'm making a carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get carrots up in here at one point. At this stage, sometimes what I do, if I feel like I'm running the risk of overmixing, is I'll mix it by hand. Oh, God, it tastes great. Don't overmix this. I repeat, do not overmix this. If you can't see the flour, if you can't see the wet ingredients, if everything feels incorporated to the eye, I say stop. Oh, shit, oh, shit. What? Oh shit. Oh no, you're matcha. matcha. No. Oh sorry, the whole stove is covered in matcha. Remember, baking is a science. It's crucial that you don't overmix this. This is fun. It's like playing with power tools. 
Bad decisions aside, it's time for the bakers to throw their cakes in the oven. If my cooking show expertise tells me anything, it's at least 40 minutes. Ooh, mine's bubbling. It looks like a cake a little quicker than I'd want it to, which is potentially troubling. Kinda look like I'm making brownies. Well, brownies are good. My dad loves brownies. It's daddy's favorite. <laughs> Well, these are gonna go great. I'm really excited. Oh, mine is rising, just <laughs> only on Get one side. It's really rising on one side. Oh my God, it's got a bubble. Ooh, they're rising a little bit. Yours look perfect. Hey. Mine look suspicious. Yeah. All three of mine are raising at rapidly different speeds. They Maybe I'll serve it on its side so it looks like a belly. Dad bod cake. Dad bod cake. You know, use what you got. Be creative, go with the flow. Mistakes are just choices you haven't made yet. <laughs> and I've made a lot of choices. Every cake is different, every recipe is different, but for this recipe, I'm gonna say anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, we're gonna get these bad boys out of here. Close it. Yeah, close, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, Ed, go, go. It's hot. You'll know when it's done because you're gonna check it with a toothpick, and when you pull that toothpick out, you should only have a few moist crumbs. Dry. It's dry. All of my countries have been pulled. This is Japan. Ooh. I think Japan's done. Smells like matcha. It smells so much like matcha. It, looks it smells like, like carrot cake. It smells like carrot cake. Guys, I think we're doing it. I am hoping that. Yours looks good. It looks like it used to be risen and then it fell. It's just dense. It I just is, think it's gonna be too dense. It is, but that's good. It's a yummy cake. Call it. Oh, um, it sucks. What if we call it a pound cake? That's not how pound cakes work. Here's the thing, Keith. I really want to do well this time, but I don't want to do well because you didn't do well. I can't handle another fourth place. I, dude, trust me, it stings every time. I saw Ned's cake. It rose like a cake. Do you want, do you want a hug? You can close your eyes and pretend I'm daddy. You're way smaller than my dad. Well, you get down on your knees. Okay. <laughs> now hug me like I'm your daddy. Thanks, daddy. <laughs> What do you put in your hair? It smells nice. Um, I didn't wash it today. Wow, you smell kind of like Maggie. After the guys get their cakes out of the pan. Yeah! I, that was fun though. Will you um, uh, uh, smack the bottom? I'm gonna try and excavate mine. Do it, Eugene. There it is. Ah! I feel like I'm like sawing this. And make their icing. Hold the phone, look at Mr. Fancy Pants over here. It's delicious. Yeah, you really killed this, Keith. It's finally time to decorate. I'm excited, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but we have three hours for me to figure it out. It's gonna be intense, we got lots of colors here, lots of nozzles. At this point, you want to pipe your buttercream so that you get a nice, even spread of buttercream in between each layer. I think I'm just gonna try to ice it so perfectly that it looks like a professional did it. And then somehow indicate what's inside of each one and really represent the countries from whence they came. This is not impressive. But it tastes so good. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna decorate it. I have a sort of design idea. Oh my God! This is my last chance to really wow the judges, so I'm gonna try and figure out something cool. Now you're gonna level it. I use this fancy cake level. I do think if I want my cake to be really even, you're gonna need to cut a little bit off the dome. Oh! It's got like the fryer tuck thing going for it. Yeah, it's got just a halo. I'm going to be making an illusion cake, and the illusion I will be creating with my cake is a bowl of Raisin Bran, my dad's favorite cereal. <laughs> oh my god, that's what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm making a bowl I didn't understand it's of cereal. This is the fun part because you can add any decorations you want. I like to use chocolate ganache, I like to use fondant detailing. All right, who ordered the quarter pounder? Quarter pounder, yeah. Uh, no Number 97. Um, aesthetics was never my strong suit. Mine is a funfetti cake, so I'm gonna keep my vanilla buttercream frosting, nice white base. I'll have to figure out how to stack these properly. And then uh, I'm gonna cover it with sprinkles, but for my lettering, I'm going to put words on with little magnets and then remove the magnets so that the negative space creates 
the words happy birthday. Keith, this is crazy looking. I would never have guessed that this plan would be so aesthetically pleasing, but you're really killing it right now. It works. I have my icing. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's all wet. It's all wet. It's all wet. Put this on my cake. Is this why they developed the word rustic? I don't know, it just looks so cheap. It looks like your aunt's, like, 50th wedding. <laughs> 50th wedding? I'm gonna completely scrap what I was doing. You're starting over. I'm starting over. I'm so sorry. 10 minutes left, bakers. Oh, I get Bake Off now. They always look so surprised. Oh my God. It's like the elevator in The Shining. I feel like this is a trend for me. Where have I done this before? Pecans. Wow. It kind of looks like Whoa. a million cockroaches Whoa. are climbing up your cake. You I like what? to think of it as a fancy bowl. I'm just re-approaching this entire cake design. If I thought I could do any better, I would also start over. <laughs> this is so ugly. It's unbelievable how ugly it is. Good morning! It's time for my daddy's favorite cereal. Ha! Ah. Yes! Ha! Ah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Two minutes. Eugene, you've made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. It's unbelievable. Yes, I completely changed the direction of the cake. So I'm trying to embrace how spicy these cakes are. So I'm gonna try to like show elements of it on the outside. So the bottom layer that's Chinese has a lot of cinnamon flavor. So I'll do the top with matcha. I'm hoping that this is way more just interesting looking than the other one. Where did, you, uh, did you just cut that out? Uh, dude, that is brilliant. I feel so good. Ned! <laughs> Birthday! Literally just decided to write on these leaves the words teas in Japanese, Hindi, and Three, Mandarin. Three, two, one, that's it, that's it. Okay, hands up, bakers. Mm. Oh, man. Congratulations oh, man. on the great season, guys. Wow. Yes, wow. congrats. I fear that the design or lack thereof is going to really hurt me in the judging. We are judging these cakes on presentation, taste, creativity, and is it a birthday cake? Instantly when you think of birthday cake, you think of like the white with the sprinkles, but I always am surprised and delighted when the cake isn't that. I think part of what's fun about cakes is that sometimes they're imperfect. I kind of like it when bakers have their signature touch. Cakes make me nostalgic because we always used to eat them when we were celebrating something. It brings back all those memories of like milestones and good times. My favorite flavor is delicious. Happy birthday to you. cake. I have a, a young son named Wes, so this is what I imagine would be for Wes. It's a Funfetti cake. When I was growing up, I used to love getting Funfetti cakes, things that are like bright, colorful. Uh, so yeah, please enjoy. It's oh gorgeous. Make a wish. Oh I'm so impressed. This is beautiful. Stunning, and the lettering up top is is fantastic. Very detailed. Right? I really wanted to play with like the negative space of the uh, of the sprinkles. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so personal too. Happy birthday, Wes, and like family nostalgia. Okay, do you want to cut into I it? I do. Okay. What is it cutting? Does it feel good? It does. Oh yeah, I guess we haven't seen the inside yet, huh? Oh! It's a vanilla batter with a hint of lemon and uh, funfetti sprinkles throughout with also a couple of uh, hidden gummies. How many gummy bears did you put in here? <laughs> Only a few. Because I did some experimenting with baking gummy bears mm -hmm. and some candies you could bake, some. <laughs> It's a really good cake, a lot, lot of great flavor. I think it's a little bit dense here. And maybe, because it's so big, the proportion of frosting to cake is a little off, but I mean, the flavors are out of the park. I like the taste. I actually really like the lemon. I like that mm -hmm. it's strong lemon flavor, and it is a dense cake. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that, actually. The texture's outstanding. My favorite is a fluffy cake. This is a good dense cake, though. Uh, what do you think about the creativity? Ding, 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 off the charts for me. Yeah, you added lemon and you did a lot of detailed design at the top. You took a classic and, I don't know, you put your own little twist on it. Made me smile. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> right? You know, that I, that was a beautiful moment. Just looking at it makes you smile. Is it a birthday cake? 
Yeah, it says happy oh. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of love in this cake. It's almost like you baked it for Wes and not the contest. Not only is it a birthday cake, but it's like quintessential birthday cake that I would mm -hmm. imagine to be in like a cartoon. I mean, it's great. It's wonderful. Great start. Hey. Great start. Yeah. Thank you, judges. I am very pleased with my last minute decision to totally change the entire visual concept of the cake. I think this actually looks better than what I would have done to begin with. May I present, what's the tea, cake? <laughs> A Pan-Asian journey. <laughs> Heart thrill. Hey. hey! I love it! It feels like a cake I would find on like an island. Uh, there's three different layers and each layer is a totally different batter. So the top leaf says tea in Japanese, it's a matcha flavored cake. The middle layer says tea in Hindi and that's a chai flavored cake. And the bottom says tea in Mandarin and that's an oolong flavored cake. So I put in a lot of different spices and some untraditional flavors. Also a lot of rum, which is my Pan-Asian journey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not smooth. <laughs> you know, the Asian yeah. journey is, is fraught. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a rocky it's road a, for many of us. It's a rough road. Yeah, yeah, you know? I wasn't expecting a tiered cake today, so points for that. Yeah. It certainly is uneven um, and rustic <laughs> at best. But actually, if this cake was perfectly frosted, it wouldn't have the same impact. Mm -hmm. What's wet? What's wet <laughs> on this cake? You know, what isn't wet? Oh my God. Oh, wow. Honestly, I'm sorry, it looks like flesh. <laughs> Doesn't it? Look at this side, look at this side. It looks like cheesecake. You know, I think cheesecake is kind. It looks like mochi. Did you use rice flour? I think I used all-purpose flour. I used a shit ton of eggs. How many eggs? Maybe a dozen. Uh, huh. <laughs> Asians love eggs. It feels like um, like going very on? warm hey, Swiss yeah. cheese. Ooh. See, mm. I've never been scared to eat a cake before. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God, they love it. They, they love it. Roy loves it. <laughs> International chef. I'm not made for YouTube, man. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the shit, man. <laughs> Roy Choi is in shock. He loves it so much. You broke an internationally renowned chef. So, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing and crying. Did, yeah. I, <laughs> did I make South Asia pr proud of? I don't want to speak for South Asia. <laughs> It's really it's, got an aftertaste. It's weird. I, it's it's ling it lingers. You ever leave something in your car and come back the next morning? I've done that with sour. Cheese. Let me taste right. another layer. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, yeah, do the matcha. Just, yeah, I, I dumped a whole bag of matcha. In. That's oh my not. God. That's that's not right. <laughs> My, my fear my fear is that flavors don't come through enough. Oh, it, my whole body is overwhelmed. Have you ever I'm gotten an MRI or a CAT scan? <laughs> no. They make should. you drink this chalky drink. Has anybody ever gotten one? I'll be right back. I can't swallow. Sorry. I can't swallow. Just the floor, bro. The medic is fine. Oh my god. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm so sorry. Into my hands, bro. Um, she loves um, it so much. She just wants to treasure it. <laughs> has, anyone, oh my god. has anyone ever had to? Jump off? Yeah, normally it's my fault. Oh. He's so sorry, he's so sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, take a bite. <laughs> You're taking a picture? Yes. I have to remember one of the worst moments of my life. <laughs> Back to the point of creativity, you did create something that never existed in this earth before. Oh, it's creative. <laughs> Is it a birthday cake? Uh, no. What is cake? <laughs> what even? But n no, it's not this. Eugene, I love you, and I don't want to say this, but I think this might have been the weirdest tasting mm -hmm. cake I've ever had. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Whoa. feeling really amazing about this cake. I sent a picture of it to my dad. I know Rosanna Pensino does a lot of heavy decorated cakes, so I think she's gonna be impressed, and I think the flavor is very dad, so I think that Roy Choi is gonna be like, yes, this is what dad's like. I'm very happy. Whoa. Whoa. Growing up, 
<laughs> Every day, my dad had a bowl of raisin bran for breakfast. He loved cinnamon raisin flavors, and he also loved a coffee cake that we affectionately called Daddy Cake. This is my dad's breakfast birthday cake, also known as Daddy's Favorite. I have served this flavor for every round of Without a Recipe this season, and I have not won at all. But I hope with this, with the two scoops of raisins, one in yogurt and one in chocolate on the side, and the cinnamon caramel brown sugar coffee cake inside, that I have finally done it. Make a wish. <laughs> I know what my wish is. <laughs> I'm just the cereal out. Yeah, it's okay. Wow, daddy cake. It looks like a bowl of cereal, which is really cool. It's like the cake is inverted. I feel like it's gonna collapse in on itself, which is fun and thrilling. Birthday cakes are supposed to be personal, so I feel like this cake is very personal for your dad. If this was my favorite cereal, this would make me laugh. And it's very creative. It is shaped like a bowl. Like, I've never done that before. I mean, this is kind of cool. We should be awing very loudly. This is incredible. I <laughs> feel like you're very tempered right now, and I, I've expected explosions of excitement. I'm sorry. I just, you really love Ned's, and I think this took a lot more effort. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, take, I'm taking it all in. Figure the it out. The detail is great. The pecans as yeah. a mosaic. At first, it looks a bit crazy, and but then as you go to each level, there's attention to detail. Let's get us a slice. <laughs> Might need to stand up. Let's put some gravity on it. Oh my. Oh. Um, it's a dense cake. I mean, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, get in whoa. there. Get in there. Oh and my. He's a strong. He loves a strong. Oh my. <laughs> it's, it's just like Eugene's. It's not. Take a look. <laughs> Take a look. It's it me. is it's, literally, it's, it's literally me. looks identical yeah. to Eugene's. Are it's you? Yeah, you're it looks like you copied his recipe. I did it. It was okay. obviously a different cake. Just I, taste it. I'm looking at it. It's the same quiche. Just taste it. Just taste it. Here. Just taste it. Look in there. Get it. Some f***ing chances. <laughs> you cut it with these aggressively. You didn't react to it at all. It's a f***ing bowl. How cool is that? It's, it is, it's it really is cool. cool. You didn't say it was cool. It's you're so like, oh, that's neat. That's it's, interesting. I guess if you look at it close, it's nice. It's impressive. It's really cool. It's oh, just crazy. also it's, like, look at it. I did love Ned's. They have that capacity. Just taste it, though. Uh, OK, here Mixed we go. Together. So there are different um, types of raisins in between each layer. The flavor is better than Eugene's. I told you. <laughs> I told you. The so. texture is somehow worse. Wow. <laughs> well, try a different, try a different, there's a lot of different cakes in there. This is a physical reaction. You had one I bite, had you had a ton of Eugene's, that's Eugene's demon inside of you. <laughs> I think it might be a team effort. Looks like, you know, those dog bakeries that they have out there? It feels like a cake that would be sold at a dog bakery. I would eat this to like that. <laughs> And here's a fun tip at home. Don't overmix cake batters. Judges, is it a birthday cake? If you had given me this and I didn't know it was supposed to be cake, I wouldn't think it was cake. What would you think it is? Quiche. Wait, only your dad or a dog would consider it <laughs> a birthday cake, so yes. Does it bounce? I mean, it looks like it bounces. I think it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. What kind of birthday cakes were you getting growing up? This is my last chance to show that I'm not a total f up in the kitchen. I'm really confident in my cake. I think I did a great job. It looks nice, Zach. Happy birthday, big boy. Don't you blow out, motherfuckers. Happy birthday, big boy. <laughs> This is my big boy cake. I kind of wanted to bring it back to childhood, but make you feel like larger than life so that when you do this, you're like a monster towering through the city, knocking down buildings. This is a carrot cake, one of my favorite cakes, but I added um, ginger, pineapple, coconut, and some cinnamon. So I, I, I hope you enjoy. Happy birthday, big boy. Happy birthday, big boys. When you brought it over here, I was thinking of um, that Dr. Seuss book, or yeah. the places you'll go. I actually think the stripes are impressive. It looks like a cake that you would see in like a 
who in Hoosville. Lots of candles, that's fun. It is a little lopsided, and, <laughs> and, and I agree, maybe it's charming if it's supposed to be like a who down in Whoville cake. It was a I, weird sensation cutting it. Yeah, it's, it definitely, uh, I think the pineapple yeah, released sure. a lot of moisture. Wait, wait, what was the sensation like? Cutting so, it? I hate to bring up the canine again, but it felt like stepping in dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that moment, that feeling you get right when the soul hits and then... Carrot cake is a different cake. It's, it's a different cake, but it was, uh, this is not for humor. It was really weird. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I'm most afraid to try this. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I, Give it a smell. I really like carrot cake. Um, I'm just yeah, debating. So Why do I have such I a know. big bite? Everyone has a small bite. I think it's. No. <laughs> Sorry. No. Um... What? Oh, it's a lot going on. Really? It's really mushy. I'm really trying to separate the flavors from the texture. Yeah. Because the texture is unbelievable. Thank you. Nope. Not good. Unbelievable. <laughs> The flavors were not terrible. It, this is solely texture. It's like almost wet uh -huh. inside, like like either underbaked or just extremely moist. Roy agrees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like snot. And it's very creative. You're taking a classic cake and then you're adding a fruit element, which I've never done that before. Roy, do you think it's creative, the flavors? No. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Is it cake? Y yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sold. Really? It tastes like batter. Think um, I took it out too early? I think that that might be one of the many things you've done here. If this were a bread pudding competition, you'd do fine. <laughs> Probably. Thank you for your time, judges. We will I see you after you deliberate to announce who the winner is and who is last place. Obviously, we, we have a clear winner. So now our decision is who's the worst? Well, really, it's a race to the bottom. I think it all boils down for me to like, which one could you possibly finish? I liked that Eugene used a lot of creativity, mm -hmm. especially in selling his cake, yeah. even though I may have liked his flavor profile I better. I it was a bowl. I do It's too. hard for me because I love both of their creativity. I think actually they were both the most creative. Mm -hmm. yeah. With carrot cakes, they're already naturally very moist. Mm -hmm. So this just went too far. Okay. <laughs> we have made our final decision. Guys, no matter what happens, it's, it's been really fun this season. I've learned a lot. It's been, been, been a good time. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. All right, do you want to start us off? Yeah, we're actually going to go in reverse order. We've done this once. <laughs> so, um, of course, I'm not going to stretch it out any longer. Ned, your cake was fa by far superior to everybody else's. It wasn't just fine. It was actually a really good cake. Yeah. But like, I did third place a lot last season, so this is huge for me. Wow, you guys, my cake was so good. This was crazy. This was crazy. Second place, we have... Zach. Wow! Really? Yes. That's like a win. Zach's never gotten above third place. Really? really? And even my third was had a big old asterisk next to it. Oh my god, you guys. Congratulations. Guess. Congratulations, Zach. I can't believe it. I, don't, I, do. I think I'm going to cry. Really? That's Thank you, judges. I was going to ask you all the things I did wonderfully, but it's okay. It's in my heart. Thank you. So now, the grand finale. Mm hmm. Man. Two cakes that seemed like they had resembled each other and came from the same land. A Pan-Asian journey. We're both very personal and very thoughtful. Love my daddy. Love my daddy. Love my daddy. The tough part was that they were both bad. And the tough part was we had to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the... No, the loser of the winner of... The winner of last The winner of last night. The worst cake is, I don't want to say it because I'm scared. I'm really scared to say this. Do you want to say it together? <laughs> yes, yeah, or... Number they, three, Eugene, number four, Eugene, that's Eugene, cake. you did not lose. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus.
Deep breaths, deep breaths. I'm really scared. <laughs> deep breaths, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. <laughs> I made a bowl of cereal. We love you, I made a bowl. I made a bowl of cereal. It doesn't f***ing bounce. This is the stupidest show. I hate this show. Without a recipe, f*** it off. I hate this show. I hate this perfect f***ing cake. Well, needless to say, I'm pretty bummed, but we'll see you next time on Without a Recipe. Bye! <laughs> Who's your daddy's favorite? Oh, your daddy's favorite. Big thanks to Patreon and all of our patrons for making Without a Recipe the series possible. I can finish this whole piece. Oh, Keith, don't do that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no,